Hey everybody, it's your girl Java if you don't already know. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and if you are new to my channel, I welcome you as well. Feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and also click the notification bell so you can stay updated with any upcoming videos that I post. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So ladies, your girl got her hair done, nice and slayed. I got these ends clipped, dusted, trimmed. Whatever you want to call it, I got them done because your girl was due for a trimming. It was about that time and I'm really, really happy that I've gotten it done because I really needed it. So, um, I pretty much just got like a, like a mid side part if you want to call it that, but I got basically a side part. It's not so much in the middle, but it's not so much on the side and, um, it was optional, it was my choice. This little section right here was a curl, a cute little feather curl, side bang feather curl or whatever. And the curls fell, um, but that's okay. Um, I can still rock this style or recurl it whenever I feel like it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with my results. I'm really loving how my hair is looking nice and healthy, nice and full and all that good stuff. So ladies, I really came on here to show you guys um, how I wrap my hair or how I tie down my hair I don't really necessarily wrap my hair like in the standard common way which is like you know whichever way your part falls on or even if you got a middle part you wrap it either counterclockwise or clockwise or whatever um, I do it the easier way because for one I don't really wrap my hair I don't really feel like taking the time to wrap it and for two I'm not that good at wrapping it the regular common way so I just do it the easier way. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do that with my scarf. I got my scarf right here. It might be a little bit crusty. It's clean, but it might be a little bit uh, crusty because um, of the edge control when I do my edges and stuff. So that's pretty much what that is. It's not dirt, you guys. What you want to do is you want to, whichever side your part is on, that's where you want to basically end the knot. You want to be careful where you put the knotting of your scarf when you are tying your scarf down because you don't want to mess up your hair. So for example, um, I have a left side part, or basically a left side part, and I want to make sure that the knot falls wherever the parting is. Because if I put my knot on this side where there's no part, there's going to be an indent and it's going to mess up the whole hairstyle. And then I have to put more heat in my hair or possibly change my hairstyle or if you know if you don't care then you just don't care and that's fine because to each his own right so basically you just want to make sure you put your knot on whatever side your part is so i will be putting my knot right here because i'm going to be wearing the left side of my hair tucked behind my ear anyway so it's it's okay if it has like an indent or if it you know leaves like a mark or whatever so i got my scarf right here it's a non-stretch regular rectangular scarf or whatever so first and foremost you want to make sure your scarf ends are even or as even as possible and then you place your I'm looking in the mirror by the way and then you place your scarf on your head make sure you put it about a good inch or so before your hairline because you want your scarf to stay on next you're going to just act as if you're going to put your hair into a low bun but you're actually going to split it and basically act as if you're going to put your hair in two ponytails and then let me show you what I do and then what you're going to do is you're going to cross it and then you're going to take the side that's over and you're going to try to get all of your hair and tuck the side to flat and then you're going to do the same with the other side so I just do this and I try to get as much hair tucked in as possible So it's going to look like this and then you're going to tie your knot on whatever side your part falls on. So my part is about right here in the middle of my left eyebrow. So then I'm just going to take my scarf and I'm going to do a double knot. You can do as many knots as you want but a double knot is just fine. And then I'm just going to tuck the ends in of the scarf just like this. 
and you want to make sure that your hair along the scarf is tucked in you don't want to have any hair like your ends sticking out because if you don't know that your ends are sticking out and you take a shower or you go to sleep or you just you know or like if you're laying down you know your ends are going to be sticking out and then they're going to get all scraggly by the time you take your scarf off so you want to make sure that you smooth your hair in as best as possible and you tuck it in the, uh, the arms of the scarf and then you also want to make sure you have your nape area tucked as well you just bring the, the bottom of the scarf down as much as possible and same thing with your sideburns and then there you have it. And then you just want to make sure you have all your hair tucked in. And that's how I tie my hair down, you guys. This can be done with short hair. It can be done with medium hair. It can be done with, um, it can be done with long hair. Um, it's just that the ends would be, it'll be basically tied up in the knot. Um, or you can like pin it somehow into like the arms of the scarf. And then when I take my scarf off, I just unknot it. And just gently unwrap it and then it's basically gonna be in place just like this. Now, if you have a curl or like a front bang curl or whatever, you want to just, you wanna basically curl it and pin it in place. So you can do a pin curl as neat or as loose as you want and then um, just put the pin, the body pin or the clip and then do the same thing, the same method and put the scarf on that way as well. So I'm going to show you again what I do. Make sure it's even at the bottom. Okay, ladies, thank you for clicking to watch this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you can stay updated with the upcoming videos that I post on my channel. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Bye, ladies. I'm out. <laughs>